So on this proof, we want to show that EB is perpendicular to AC, which means we either need to show that this is a right angle or this is a right angle. That's what the definition of perpendicular lines are. So to go about doing that, um, we've got to utilize the information given to us. So let's go and write the givens out, and then we'll talk about how they can be used. Um, one of the things that's in our toolbox of doing proofs is um, there, what we know about straight lines, or what we maybe would call straight angles. And that is, this angle ABC is 180 degrees, because it's a straight line. And whenever you're doing a problem and you, and you need to do something like find a 90 degree angle, but you're not given any measures, a great way to do it is to start with that 180 degrees and then see if you can um, utilize that to get yourself to a 90 degree angle. So our first step that would make sense would be the measure of angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees. Now, and th that is just definition of straight angles or a straight lines, however your teacher um, describes it. The third step then is to say, how can I use that? Well, you can use that because one, two, three, four, those four angles make up that 180 degree angle. So you can say the measure of angle ABF plus the measure of angle FBE plus the measure of angle EBD plus the measure of angle DBC equals the measure of angle ABC. And your reason for that is just angle addition. And then using our substitution property, um, we're able to show, and this is, we're going to be writing a lot of angles out here, measure of angle ABF plus the measure of angle FBE plus the measure of angle EBD plus the measure of angle DBC equals 180. Um, and that's just by the substitution property. And so with that in mind, what you can do um, is look at this and say, how can this nice statement that gives me 180 degrees tie into these at the beginning? Well, if you notice, I can plug in for FBE angle EBD. So I could make this a EBD, and then for a ABF, I could put in DBC. And if I do that, I'm going to find out that that's going to give me something about just those two angles. So that's what I want to do. But before I do that, I have to remember that I can't substitute congruence into equality. So I first need to change those given statements into equality. Um, and I need to say that um, the measure of angle uh, FBE is equal to the measure of angle EBD, and the measure of angle FBA is equal to the measure of DBC, and that's just by definition of congruent angles. Then I do that substitution I just described, which gives me, uh, I'm going to go ahead, it doesn't matter which one I do, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the FBE and put in EBD, so the measure of angle, um, e, uh, the measure of angle ABF plus um, the measure of angle, and I'm going to, uh, actually I'm going to leave the FBE in, um, plus I'm going to, instead of EBD, I'm going to put in FBE there, plus instead of DBC, I'm going to put in um, FBA or ABF, whichever one you want to call it, and that equals 180, and then, uh, and our reason for that is just substitution, property of equality, then you can simplify this. We, we, I call this a, su a substitution step because you're substitu instead of F one, one measure of angle FBA and two, another measure of angle FBA, we put them together to get two measure of angle FBA plus two measure of angle FBE equals 180. And so that's going to give you measure of angle FBA plus measure of angle FBE equals 90. Um, you can get there by just dividing both sides. And so this was what we refer to as substitution property of equality. And then this um, was the division property of equality. Right? We divided both sides by 2 to get the FBA plus FBE equals 90 degrees. Now, uh, you may or may not um, be required to, to do 
um, a couple extra steps here, but the, the most rigorous way to finish this would be to say that um, the measure, um, so our ninth step would be the measure of angle, and then what we're going to do uh, as we go in, we're going to say FBA um, plus measure of angle FBE equals ABE um, by segment addition. So FBA plus FBE plus measure of angle FBE equals the measure of angle ABE by angle addition, which then by substitution we can say measure of angle ABE equals 90 degrees. And so um, this 9 here is just going to be angle addition, and 10 is just going to be substitution, property of equality. And then your last step is to make your claim, which is what you were trying to prove. And what we were trying to prove here is that EB is congruent to AC. And we know EB uh, is perpendicular to that. And the reason for that is definition of perpendicular lines. And that is they make a 90 degree angle. So once we showed one of these angles is 90 degrees, then we know that they make a 90 degree angle. And so it's just definition of perpendicular lines. And you are done.